Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. In this video, I will show you how to make the H32-bit recontroller from this PCB board step-by-step -step in our workshop. We will see how to make it become the product. Okay, let's begin see the whole progress. Okay, let's look at these components. This all resistance and capacity and many components you prepared for the production. Uh, like this. Uh. This will all installed on the pick and the place uh, machine. Okay, let's look at uh, this place. You can see this is the first step. We will install the PCB. Install this H32B, H32B. And uh, this PCB board, when the install is ready, will go to this print. This is set the steel, steel paste print. This is a stencil. The stencil uh, is for the PCB board and the solder. The solder will print on the PCB board when the PCB in. We can set the print, uh, all the settings, uh, just uh, X, Y, and uh, all these settings. Now you can see uh, this is moved. This is print solder, and then you can see the PCB will move in and then the PCB is in the bottom. You can see this is the PCB and this is print the solder. This is print the solder. And after print, uh, you can see the PCB is the output. Just repeat and we'll go out. After the print the solder, the PCB will translate uh, by this place and send it to this SMT pick and place machine. This is install the components, uh, the capacity and the resistance and will auto pick it up and place on the PCB board. Uh, it's very quickly. Now we can see from the bottom of the SMT machine. Uh, you can see it plays the parts very quickly. And when the components is placed finish, uh, you will see uh, the board will go out uh, from this wheel. Now you can see the board is output. Uh, and this is another SMT machine. This is place the IC. You can see this is the IC. And when the IC is placed, uh, it will also output. We are uh, waiting for this place. You can see this board now have the IC and the CPU, MCU inside on it. And now we'll go to the, the following winding. This is the following winding, just uh, this oven. This oven have different area, have different uh, temperature. Uh, like this is 150 cent percent and this is 170 uh, centigrade and a different temperature and it become cool the board is finished so we can see the board is input and the translate in this oven uh, just in this oven will be go go on go on go on go on Oven auto 
output uh, when the PCB part input and this is the output from this place. Uh, this is cool, uh, not very hot. Now you can see this part is output and the soldier is melt on the pin on the pad. Okay, we can see our board. This is finished by the SMT. Okay, the PCB have printed the first, the top uh, layer. Now we will begin to the winding the bottom layer. So we can install these components uh, to the SMT, the pick and place machine again. You can see all this widget and uh, capacity and other device we need to install. On this print, uh, just many, many, many kinds of components. This is according to this list. This list have the boom. Uh, all these components are per set uh, by this computer. Uh, this is the boom, the list, uh, the value, the part, uh, description, and this is the position, X, Y, Z position of all list uh, for this machine. Uh, because we have uh, used print the, the button set, so we can redesign, reset the settings for the board. This board is, this board is the size uh, we need to reset. Okay, because this PCB board, we have print uh, this part, this, this layer, we now install this layer. So we can install to the box, uh, start a new process of the SMT. Now we can see how to install the capacity and the resistance on this machine. We just This is the SMT complete. We will see the board. Uh, they can install the Wi Fi module and some buttons and some large chips. You can see the Wi Fi module, and this is the complete. And we'll go into the referral soldier. Now you can see this board uh, is hot. This is hot, the low, high temperature. And you can see uh, this module and this component uh, is finished like this. Okay, this step is the uh, electrical capacity. We'll also cut the pin. This pin. Uh, after we have installed the SMT components, now we begin to install the DIP. Uh, like this DIP, the big part of the board we can install at this workshop. This is the output, relay output, the terminal. Is this terminal? 
and this is the Ethernet part. And this is the relay. This is 32 channel relay, so we will install 32 relays. And this is IS232 point. This is power supply interface. Uh, this is the module. We can install this PCB board like this uh, to this module and send to this uh, wave soldier. Okay, we will like the like uh, make the bread just uh, put it in this this way. This is wave wave soldier. You can see the solder uh, in the, this machine. Uh, we can see this like a make bread. And uh, you can see this part. This is very, very, very hot. This is the solder. This solder like the water. You can see the board is output. This board is very hot. Now you can see uh, all this pad is very beautiful. I went the complete. Can you see clearly? And the chip. So this is complete for the winding. Okay, when the part is finished by the winding, I need to repair and check the pins. This needed to check whether have some point or some pin have winding together, and we will something with bad pins is not very good contact, so need to check by eyes. Okay, if this part is no problem, we will go to the next step. Uh, next step is download the freeware and for the function testing. Okay. Okay, now this step is we can download the, the freeware. Because when this part is new, this is no freeware. So we need to download the CPU, the freeware. After downloading the freeware, we can proceed to testing the function. You can see this is the test software, and this is the board I need to test by the Ethernet, and by the Wi-Fi, and by the RS232 point. So every part I need to test the function whether work well. This is relay testing. We need to see whether the 32 channel relay always work well. Uh, this is the test, the input state, uh, where the work will. The input, uh, the shot for the input uh, software will be uh, turn red or turn green. After testing the freeware and the software, we will begin to install the metal box. This page is for safety. Just uh, stick to the button. Then install the PCB board.
Okay, now let's uh, print the QR code. The next step is install this output terminal. You can see this orange is for the output. This is removable, the terminal. Okay, this is the final step, the last step. Uh, we just uh, uh, take the controller uh, to the box and the, this is the package uh, for you. Just uh, the user guide and uh, the this connector card and uh, the controller and uh, the antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, this is H32 B relay controller, the whole product processor uh, from the SMT, the DIP winding, and the freeware download and uh, the software function testing. So if you have interest, in, you want to cooperate with us, you can connect with us and leave your message. Okay, thanks for watching.